Good morning, everybody. Pastor Rick here, Broadman Baptist Church. This is the Broadman Word for July 15th, 2022, and happy Friday to you. Congratulations for making it through another week. Uh, today's uh, title is You're Amazing, and I just wanted to take a second, because we've got so much going on in July, uh, to point out some really good things and to uh, get us sort of in the, the right frame of mind for moving forward through uh, Vacation Bible School, which starts soon, and uh, for the uh, fair that's coming up towards the end of the month, and uh, just generally things that we have going on. So uh, I wanted to let you know, because, you know, coming to church and being part of the church, um, it just happens, you know, and it's a process, and people don't really necessarily understand um, all that goes on and how amazing it is and how much we are under the hand of God, uh, particularly at a warm and loving place like Broadman. So, um, you know, at the just before the pandemic, uh, we had lost our pastor. He decided to move on, and uh, you had me uh, take over as the interim, and uh, there was many things um, with the help of the leadership of the church and the congregation that we decided to engage in. You know, we uh, had a website uh, overhaul, you know, a complete departure from just a static site with some information to a, a vibrant and engaged website to reach out into the community. And it's a, it's a wonderful thing. And Pastor Kyle has jumped in on it in the last few months and really refined and enhanced some of its capabilities and, and more is to come. So that was an amazing step forward. And we also, um, in the face of some very uncertain times, hung together and worshiped digitally. Uh, we started the, the digital uh, sermon series and on Facebook and then on YouTube and uh, that was amazing and it and it expanded now to you know just me at the pulpit with a uh, cell phone <laughs> and video to now a, a multi-site uh, streaming service that is reaching um, YouTube and Facebook together and uh, we also have uh, Instagram now that Pastor Kyle is posting things to. And these things didn't um, just materialize. We had to invest in computers, a couple of laptops, and we had to invest in streaming um, software and upgrades to the current computers. And uh, just recently, uh, an upgrade to the main computer back there in the, the AV booth. Uh, it's solid state now instead of the older style. And that was all done by um, volunteers, uh, mostly Chris Mauser and, and Carrie Geib. And so um, we also started um, a uh, three times a week Broadman Word. Um, that's now five times because we have Pastor Kyle. So Congregation is very fortunate to hear from one of the pastors every single day, Monday through Friday. And so, uh, the, and we have a app, uh, a church app on, a, for our phones, which is going to get greatly improved here in the next few weeks. And you'll have some instructions on how to get that on your, on your phone easier than right now. Uh, and so we really hung together. Um, we transitioned to parking lot services when we could. And we even had um, the Singing Weavers come and do an outside concert for us. And so there's been many, many things. We didn't really lose members during the pandemic. Um, some folks decided to stay home and some folks are still home. But uh, we really did a lot of things to get ourselves through to continue to worship uh, God and honor his name, glorify his name by just simply sticking together as a, a group of his called believers. And so we've also um, had Crystal and Paul Schweitzer and Nancy Unger and a few others um, 
really dedicate themselves to children ministry ministry Kyle is involved in children's ministry significantly uh, we also um, have had curriculum upgrades it's it's so teacher friendly and then of course student friendly back there now and we've had people step up to volunteer we always need more uh, but that area of our church we've had dedicated Sunday school teachers um, that have hung in there and, and kept the adult uh, Sunday school. Kyle has got a burgeoning uh, youth group uh, going and is going to transition into a young adult ministry as soon as we can. So all of that is really wonderful. We've continued with our fellowship schedule. Um, spent a lot of money on a beautiful sign out by the road, which has had an effect. We hear from people uh, about things that they see on that sign not not a whole lot but we do and you know if it was just one would it be worth it and of course the answer to that is yes but it's it's a lot more than one then we had the challenge in the sanctuary where we lost our big screen um, and we had some folks step in and repair that so we could continue to use it for a little while but then we moved forward with the the digital screens that we have now and uh, I think you'd agree that the picture is a lot better and a lot brighter than it even was on the on the big screen. So in the face of challenge, we uh, came up with a, a solution that really didn't cost all that much comparatively, but left us in a, a better quality, better situation than we had before. Uh, we have also got music ministry going on and um, we've restarted the choir um, Charlotte and Shannon and um, Brad and uh, Bailey and um, Marty have really hung on with the praise team and kept that going and we've got folks volunteering uh, for the choir we have folks volunteering for the instrumental group uh, that's grown a little bit uh, all kinds of things uh, Bill Moore hanging in there on the organ for us um, Sharon Doney on the on the keyboard to uh, help our music better and of course Charlotte um, steadfast on the piano so all kinds of folks involved um, Alberta and the fellowship team have continued to keep our uh, meals and other things going we've got meals on Wednesday nights now and um, Kyle has started to teach on Wednesday nights for a different perspective and I've continued my role uh, on Wednesday night teaching uh, we've had some baptisms happen over the last uh, couple of years, uh, which is, you know, pretty amazing considering the, the challenges that we've had. And we have uh, one or two more coming in the near future. So um, that's, a, that's a real blessing anytime that happens. Uh, our parking lot, uh, you know, we've had the funds to maintain and uh, keep our parking lot good got the extension to the garage going on that's going to be a, a significant help to our building and grounds people and the church looks great um, you know uh, Becky Wise and uh, has and the grounds people have done a wonderful job keeping um, the place looking good um, our building and grounds people um, and our uh, you know just general maintenance people with Roger Davis and Brad Mauser's chipped in and done a lot, and of course he does a great job of keeping the church clean uh, anyway. And so uh, there has just been a lot everywhere. You can't look at any place in Broadman Baptist Church and not see love of uh, the church uh, and responsibility to the kingdom displayed in the efforts of so many people. Um, We've got a widow support group, the Next Steppers now. Uh, so important to minister to those, to that population. And it just goes um, on and on. I'm sure I've missed um, somebody. And if I, I left you out, I'm sorry it wasn't on purpose. I just um, haven't been able to think of absolutely everything this morning. But it was really on my heart to bring to you how amazing you are as a congregation, how amazing Broadman is as a church, and how um, under God's hand we have not only 
survive, but we have thrived and accomplished great things really during uh, a challenging time with the pandemic. And now um, just after it, although I just heard this morning, there's a new variant out there poking its head up and causing problems. So we have to um, be cautious of that. I just want to encourage you with Vacation Bible School coming up um, next week to really dig in and participate in that. We have, uh, I think, up to 27 children now that I've heard, most not associated with Broadman. What a blessing that is for God to bring those children in for us to minister to. And what a chance we have to minister to those families as well. And who knows um, what we might be able to accomplish during the week with those opportunities. Also, big personnel commitment with the State Fair. We're trying to cover 12 hours a day, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. is what we're shooting for. Uh, so there is plenty of opportunity to um, be involved in that. And what a, an amazing outreach opportunity that is. So lots going on, lots coming up. We have Bring a Neighbor Sunday on July 31st, and that happens to be the day the Singing Weavers will be here. What an amazing co coincidence that was, huh? For them to be there at the end of the State Fair and on a Bring a Neighbor Day. Uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. So uh, I just wanted to let you know that I'm proud to be your pastor. I love you. Um, there is so many good people and so many good things going on at Broadman that we have a lot to be proud of. Um, we are honoring God's name right here in Cuyahoga Falls. And I just wanted to encourage you um, to keep moving forward. Uh, keep asking yourself the questions, you know, how are we a church that makes a difference? How are we moving forward? How are we moving the kingdom forward and honoring God's name? And uh, if we keep asking that question and we don't rest, then we will see the, the benefits of our work. We will bear fruit, as gospel says. I love you. I hope you have a marvelous day, and I'll talk to you next time.